I finished the book. I finished the book. It's so good. She's not pretty, but she feels nice. They will be eternally young forever as long as they eat, literally digest gold. And to me, that is so interesting. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another weekly vlog. I'm hoping that this vlog is gonna be a sweet, not probably short, I'm aiming for it to be a nice long one for you guys, but I'm hoping for it to be sweet, comfy, cozy, with festive Christmassy vibes because I haven't done one this month yet and I really thought it'd be nice to just include it towards the end of the month or maybe in the beginning of January just so that you guys can have it. It's the start of a new week. It's Monday, December 18th. It is 10.33 a.m. right now and I've just been doing on Instagram a little unbox with me. Every year I get Once Upon a Book Club's advent um, calendar and so I've just been having so much fun on there and just unboxing things with you guys but I wanted to show you what day five's bookish themed gift is and if you're not aware of what Once Upon a Book Club's Avant calendar is it's a huge box that's not Christmas themed but it comes with a book with 12 short stories in it that you start on December 14th it comes with 12 gifts that you open one each day correlating with each story which is amazing and I'm on day five and day five was a bookish themed water bottle I mean come on this is I'm like, I love it. I love it so much. This one says, you are a limited edition. And look at that. Look how cute this ombre color is. It's also one of those timely stamped water bottles, which I don't own yet. And I'm so happy. And it's 32 ounce, which is perfect because that's usually what I carry around with me. So I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Started off the day off right, guys. Also, you're going to see me in a couple more videos that I'll be uploading this month wearing the same thing because I have two videos I want to film today. I'm, I'm filming this intro right now. And also my Illumicrate box came early. So I'm going to do an Illumicrate unboxing video. And I'm so excited. But for the sake of this festive and cozy weekly vlog. I'll be trying to read a couple Christmas books in here. I'm going to try to fit it in. So the first one that I'm working on is The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lees and I can't wait. I just started it yesterday. I'm only on page two. <laughs> and I'm already loving it. There's nice banter in here because I'm buddy reading this so my friend said that there's nice banter and it's hilarious and apparently chapter five is really good so I can't wait to get to it. Um, but this one is in Enemies to Lovers. I think she works at or owns a bookshop and that's all I really know and I'm just so excited to get to it you guys. I'm so excited. On top of that I'm also reading the Once Upon a Book Club Avant book which is 12 Days of Book Club Miss. Again I'm on day five. I just finished day five and then I also have a few more other Christmas books that I'm gonna just play by ear and see which ones I'm in the mood for. I know that I have um, one on my Libby app the audio version of this book, The Taurus Attraction, is actually ready. And so I might pick this up. It is chunky though, so I'm not, I can't guarantee, I can't guarantee that I will be able to finish it in this weekly vlog, but I'll try. But I've just been having such a great reading week, like reading month overall. I'm on my seventh, I just finished my seventh book and I'm on my eighth book. Like, who am I? I wish it was January so I could start off the year like with a high quantity of books. You know what I'm saying? Like I wish it was January. But anyways, I'm having a great month, you guys. I'm so happy. So what I want to do right now is before I go and unbox my Illumicrate box and create that video for you guys, I really am hungry. I haven't had anything this morning. I just had a coffee. So we're going to go to Starbucks. I'm going to order their ham and Swiss croissant that I love. Last time I went there, I was so bummed that they didn't have it. So fingers crossed that they have it this time. I'm going to go there, order that, and then I also want to get their creme brulee latte, which has become my new favorite holiday drink like I usually am your basic girl who gets the vanilla latte just because I am that person but I had it last time and I'm obsessed with it so that is what we're gonna do oh my gosh you guys bear with me on this lighting I'm using my phone but I wanted to show you what the line is right now this is ridiculous I normally don't make an effort to drive myself to Starbucks because we have coffee at home but their ham and Swiss croissants are the best and this creme brulee latte is the best. I love it. So here I am, but we're going to be here for a while. Okay, so the line has moved, but here is not even the beginning of the line. The beginning of the line starts at the clearance and yeah, it wraps all the way around. 
So hopefully they have my ham and Swiss. Okay, we have secured at least the ham and Swiss croissant, but they didn't have the creme brulee latte. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm just gonna probably, I'm not like a heavy Starbucks drinker because again, we have coffee at home, but I'm probably gonna have to download the app and order ahead of time so that this doesn't happen to me. But at least they have the ham and Swiss this time.
happy Wednesday. So it's 3.54. I haven't really up to date you guys as far as my reading goes because I don't have a lot of an update and it's just been a laid back relaxing week for me. Right now I'm in the mood of like just immersing myself in books and I have so many books available on my Libby app and I just you know, I'm very indecisive of which ones I want to read, but I will say that I am reading The Mistletoe Motive, like I said I would, and I started reading A Winter in New York by Josie Silver today, and I'm already on chapter 9, page 100, so that says a lot. This book is actually really good. I've just been enjoying my time with it. It's actually more of a serious kind of holiday romance than really a rom-com. I wouldn't really consider it a rom-com because both characters have gone through some things in their lives and they've somehow met throughout a span of time. So I'm kind of liking the pacing of it and I'm kind of liking the story. Even though I'm already a hundred pages into this book, I don't know how to explain it to you without giving any spoilers away. So I'm just going to read you the back because this book feels what it's described to be and that is charming. It feels charming and it's more of a serious holiday romance. So I'd, let me just read you the back because it explains it very well. When Iris decides to move to New York City to restart her life, she realizes she underestimated how big the Big Apple really is. All the nostalgic movies she's watched with her mom while eating their special secret recipe gelato didn't quite do it justice. But Bobby, Iris's best friend, isn't about to let her hide away. He drags her to a famous autumn street fair in Little Italy as they walk among the food stalls. A little family-run gelateria catches her eye. Could it be the same shop that's in an old photo of her mother's. Curious, Iris returns the next day and meets the handsome Gio who tells her that the shop is in danger of closing. His uncle, sole keeper of their family's gelato recipe, is recuperating from a stroke and can no longer remember it, so they can't make more. When Iris samples the last remaining batch, she realizes that their gelato and her gelato are one and the same. But how can she tell them she knows their secret recipe when she's not sure why Gio's uncle might have given it to her mother in the first place? Iris offers her services to help recreate create the gelato and soon finds herself falling for Gio and his family. But when Gio's uncle finally recovers, all the secrets Iris has been keeping threaten to ruin the new life and new love she's been building all winter long. I mean, that's basically the entire book right there. It is good. I would recommend it, especially if you don't just want to read something light and fluffy, but you want something that's a little more serious and kind of tugs at your heartstrings and makes you emotional this is it. Not that I'm emotional, but it is an emotional story because of the things that the characters are going through in their lives or have gone through in their lives. So I'm enjoying it. I have like eight hours left in the audio, so I'm hoping that I can finish this. If not, tomorrow than the next day because I just feel like it's another one of those bingeable books. Just because the story to me is just what I'm looking for right now as far as a holiday romance. Now as far as the mistletoe motive, I'm still enjoying it but I can't really tell you anything about it because I'm only on page 20. That's about it. It's about two managers who co-manage this bookstore together. The guy is kind of very stern and strict, very grumpy. The main female character, Gabriella, is this very happy, very much into Christmas and the Christmas traditions and the Christmas decorations and the holiday spirit. I feel like it's your classic enemies to lovers romance and I'm enjoying it. They have a lot of banter. I think it's really fun and I just like it. It's a very fun book. It's funny also. There's a lot of funny lines in here and I'm just having a good time. But for some reason, the only thing that I'm struggling with is just sitting down and wanting to pick it up. I try to listen to it on my Libby app because it's only a five hour audiobook and I just for some reason cannot stand the narrator. I don't like it when audiobooks have a narrator that you can't really see as far as the character goes, meaning we know the character is in her 30s and the narrator sounds like she's in her 50s. And it's kind of annoying when it's like that. To me, I just don't like it because I can't put two and two together. I can't put the person narrating the book to be the main female character because of the age difference in the voices. So that's just me though. And I have the cutest little bookmark to go with this book and that is my daughter's little homemade gingerbread ornament that she made for me. I'm using as a bookmark. So that's pretty much it for my updates on my reading. My daughter right now is taking a nap which is probably very inconvenient because that means she's going to be up later tonight. 
but that's okay. And my son's drawing in his room, so I have a little bit of time before my next load of laundry is done. Once that's done, I'm gonna be listening to A Winter in New York while I fold laundry just to make it less mundane. <laughs> And I'll try to get through more of this tonight. I've just been enjoying a lot of the downtime that I've had this week, especially like during the holiday months. Usually it's, we're very busy and we have things to do, but I've just been enjoying the quietness of the house and just been able to have such a great reading month. I'm just so happy with it. Good morning, happy, I was gonna say Wednesday, happy Thursday. So I wanted to give you a little update on my reading. So I decided to bite the bullet and just suck up the narrator of the mistletoe motive and just listen to it on audio because i don't have time this week i feel like i don't have time to physically open and sit down and read a book unless it's nighttime and lately i've been so exhausted at night that i've just been falling asleep if you hear banging in the background that's because we have some guys working on the roof of the casita outside so sorry about that but i just wanted to give you a little update so anyways i bit the bullet and i just decided to suck it up with the narrator on this book and i decided to listen to it while i was cooking making lunch making the kids lunch yesterday and folding laundry which made laundry less daunting for me <laughs> So with that being said, I am now 39% in the book and I have three hours and 21 minutes left. I'm going to probably finish this book today. That is my goal. I really want to do it today because I want to move on to other books. I'm loving the book, by the way. I'm really enjoying that book. I love it. I like the banter. I just found something out, I think, on chapter three. I'm so happy about what I found out. I can't even say a lot because I don't want to give it away, but I'm really happy. I think it's really fantastic, and that's all I'm going to say. You guys should definitely read this book. It's a really nice, cute little novella, and it's got all the Christmassy vibes. It's got all the holiday spirit that you're looking for in a Christmas romance, and it's got really, really great banter, like one of the best banters I've read in a long time, so... I'm really happy with it. And then as far as A Winter in New York, I am now 27% through that book. I also want to finish that book. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it in this vlog, but definitely I'm going to finish it for this month, which again, if I haven't stressed it enough, I'm so happy that I've had such a great reading month. I think I'm now on my eighth book. So I'm potentially seeing myself reading maybe nine or 10 books this month, which is insane because I haven't done that since last year. So I'm very happy with that. I'm really liking that story too. That one's a little bit more emotional and serious for a holiday romance, but nonetheless, it's actually a nice little break from all the fluffiness I'm reading as far as Christmas books go. So I'm enjoying that. I'm going to make myself breakfast and I'm going to listen to more of The Mistletoe Motive.
Okay, I finished the book. I finished the book. It's so good. I gave it a five star. It was so good. I got over how monotone the main narrator of the book is. I got over that and I just got used to it and it was fantastic. The last chapter of the book, and this is not a spoiler, it's just if you're listening to the audio version of it, the last chapter of the book has an actual male narrator with the hottest voice ever. And it was perfect because you get his point of view just on the last chapter. The rest of the book is just Gabriella's point of view, the main female character's point of view. But that last chapter was so good. The narrator, I don't know who he is. I didn't look him up, but he had the hottest voice and it was perfect. It was so good. It was just perfect. I loved it so much. And then the last couple sentences of the story were just so precious. I highly recommend this book, you guys. It was so good. Like, I don't know why it took me forever to read it, but it's just such a sweet, great, spicy. It's got great banter. It's got all the holiday feels, all the holiday spirit. It's the setting is in a bookstore. Like, I just absolutely loved it so much. And I had to get on here to tell you before I forgot about it, forgot about my thoughts, but this will be getting a five star. Highly recommend. It's just got everything you need it's just got everything oh my gosh I'm so like I'm so I don't know like I'm just so content I'm so content with the way it ended I'm so happy like it was really good it was really really good just having Jonathan which is the love interest his point of view at least for the last chapter with that narrator with a really hot voice like that was just the icing on top that was so good like before that I was gonna give it a five but that just kicked it up a notch like I'm happy I finished this this is so so good I'm still reading a Winter in New York, I think it's called, by Josie Silver. I'm only like 27% in that book. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to finish it in this weekly vlog, but I don't know if I'm gonna get to that. I also know that at some point I wanna read Wreck the Halls, but right now I'm like, I'm a little over the Christmas books. <laughs> I want to read The Scarlet Alchemist, I think it's called, and there's another one. It's a YA romanticy that I got from El Cray, and the audio version of it is also available. We'll see because I'm not very good at listening because tomorrow is Friday, so I clean the house on Fridays. I'm not very good at listening to fantasy audiobooks while I'm cleaning the house. Those are the kind of books that I actually need to sit down and follow along with the book and the audio version of it too, so I don't know if I'll be able to do that. If not, there's other books that I have available on my Libby app that I can listen to while I clean the house. But yeah, what a great way to end this book. I'm telling you, it was so good. What a great way to end it. And what a great way to like halfway end the vlog too, because we are almost down to the weekend now. And before Christmas, that's when I'm planning on closing out the vlog. I think a day before Christmas. We'll see. We'll see how long this vlog is, but I definitely recommend this one, guys. Okay, let's do a little... Let's do a little mini book haul because I just got an Amazon package in. So let's talk about um, let's talk about the book that I purchased not long ago. So I ended up purchasing. Well, you can see me and my head's not. <laughs> but I ended up purchasing Cassandra Clare's Sword Catcher. Now I bought the paperback because I was watching someone review the book or talk about the book and they had a very pretty paperback. It had like foiling, it was shiny, and so for some reason I thought that that was going to be the copy that I got, but instead I got this, which she's not pretty, she's not the prettiest, but she is very floppy and I don't know if this is like the large print, it doesn't say it is. The print looks, the font looks like semi-large. So tomorrow I'm hoping, don't count on it, but I'm hoping that maybe we can go to Barnes and I can take a look at the hardback and kind of compare because yes, I am that person. I wanna collect the prettiest versions of the books if I can anyways. So I'm gonna take a look at the hardback version of it and see which one I like better and then return one. But I don't know, even though this one's not that pretty, I just really like how it feels in my hands. I like how big it is and I don't know. I might just keep this one to be honest with you. So that's that book that I got a couple days ago. Now I gotta stand over here because otherwise my head is gonna get cut off. Let's um, open, let me open the rest of the books. I also ordered a couple more. I think they're coming in after Christmas. I think one more is coming out of Christmas. So I ended up ordering this book just because it was in one of my book boxes, but I ended up skipping that box, but I still want the book. 
and that is J. Breeze, The Crown of Oaths and Curses. I mean, look at this stunning copy like of the paperback version of this. I love this and it's a chunky one, but this one is an Enemies to Lovers Forbidden Faded Mates. I think it's Enemies to Lovers Faded Mate Arranged Marriage Romanticy. And this is YA, I think. So I'm actually very excited to read this. Super excited. Yeah, it just feels... It just feels so nice, you know? It just feels so nice that, it, like, it's so floppy. And this one, I want to try to read in January, but it is 650 pages. So, I don't know, guys. I'm not sure if I will be able to squeeze this in. But there's that. Oh, I hate the cover of this, like, the, the front cover. Just Amazon, sometimes you think you're going to get a certain cover for a book or a certain feel to it and you don't and it's disappointing. So, but also again, very floppy. So I did also get um, Sarah Hashem's The Jassard Air. And this is, I think, a fantasy romance. And it was in the nominees, of, in the 2023 Goodreads nominees. And it takes place in Egypt. So I've heard really great things. Again, like, did I order the big, like the large print? Usually it says large print. But again, it's like, look how floppy. I saw a girl who had a different version of this where the, like, this part of it was kind of like 3D and it was sticking out. But I don't know, like, she's not pretty. But she feels nice, so I don't know. I might keep her. We'll see. But this is another one I've heard really great things about, and it is 479 pages. Not bad. But again, like, do I want to keep this copy? I mean, it's the original cover. It's just not 3D like I saw on someone's video, you know? It's kind of annoying. But I got that. And then I got the third book in the um, Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy, and that is A Curse for True Love by Stephanie Garber. And I got, I didn't really hunt down for the pretty covers on this one. I just got whatever I got first and just ran with it. I kind of like the dark versions of these covers. They're kind of like giving me like dark, you know, not dark romance, but dark vibes, even though this is supposed to be like fairy tale esque. But I got that. So now I'm set with this trilogy that I have not read yet, which I have to read Caraval first. So these are all the books so far that I've got. We'll just go maybe browse around Barnes tomorrow and see like if we find better copies of these books. If not, I'll keep them. Just notice that there's a little bit of a rip in this one, but that's okay. I just like how nice. Yeah, I really love myself a chunky book, honestly. It doesn't really scare me, as long as the story is compelling and there's romance in it. A good chunky fantasy book doesn't steer me away. So yeah, that is it. Yeah, it's almost like, yeah, like look how big this is. These books are kind of like gigantic. Look at this. Look at that. I mean, I'm not complaining. I just wish the cover was prettier. Jesus. I mean, or at least the covers that I thought I was going to get with both of these books. But anyways, I'm talking too much. I'm just very happy. It's always a good day when you get books, right? So that's it. That's it for my little book haul. morning happy saturday it is december 23rd a day before christmas eve i don't know why but i did not bring my camera so here we are you are mounted by one of my air vents 
So I'm so sorry. I wasn't planning on filming this morning, which is why I did not bring my camera. So I'm so sorry if the sound is not, the sound quality of this clip is not as good. But I wanted to let you know that obviously I'm here at the parking lot. I'm getting my nails done and I'm having my croissant and my coffee, which they made extra hot today, which I'm not upset about it because I babysit my coffee. So I don't just drink it right away. And when they make it extra hot, it just gives me that much more time to slowly finish it. I have 57 minutes left before I finish A Winter in New York by Josie Silver and I think I'm going to give that book a 4 or 4.5. I really really enjoy it. It is definitely an emotional roller coaster of a book as far as a holiday romance goes but it's so good. There were so many times where I was on the verge of crying and I think I'm having a moment right now where it's going to happen again so hopefully I don't cry because I don't need to look like a mess when i'm getting my nails done that's basically it i like it i really enjoy it and if you want something emotional that's gonna like make you sad and happy sad and maybe ugly cry then i definitely recommend this book but yeah so far i've read two books in this vlog i'm not gonna keep this vlog up for too much longer i'll probably close it tomorrow um tonight we have to assemble we got the kids better versions of drawing desks for them for one of their christmas presents so i'm gonna help at least in moral support <laughs> sit while my husband assembles those and i need to wrap my parents presents we just got them something simple and yeah that's pretty much what we're gonna do i actually have no idea how i managed to clean the house yesterday it was 8 30 by the time i was done and thank gosh that my husband actually helped me finish mopping the rest of the floor i needed to finish mopping our bathroom the kids bathroom and the hallway near their rooms so he managed to do that for me and yeah i'm happy we did clean the house because it was going to go on to two weeks without cleaning it and we do live in the desert so my house is not cluttered or it doesn't really get dirty but it does get dusty and the floor does get dirty because of where we live so i'm glad i'm glad we're doing that but anyways i'm gonna finish up my sandwich and my coffee and get my nails done
Merry Christmas Eve, you guys. So I wanted to finally pop in here and close out the vlog. But before I do that, I wanted to give you a little bit of an update as far as my reading goes. So I did manage to finish A Winter in New York by Josie Silver. And I ended up giving that book a 4.5. It was so good. Emotional sad but heartfelt romantic in its own way tragic at some parts but it was so good the only reason why i didn't give it a five star was because there was just some parts of the book that were a little too slow for me that we could have picked up things a little bit more but other than that i really like the story i like the characters i like the whole family aspect of the book it's basically based off of family and tradition and just loyalty to your family so i really really enjoyed that i liked it a lot and i also also managed to pick up The Scarlet Alchemist by Kaylee Lee Baker yesterday. I love it. I love it so much. I'm predicting this is going to be a five star. Hopefully I still think that way towards the end. I'm on page 115 chapter 10. I'm flying through this book. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is a YA fantasy. I'm not sure if it's very heavy on romance, but I know it's a fantasy for sure. And it's all about alchemy and I've never been more obsessed and intrigued with the whole term and what it's about since I've read this book. I picked up the audio version of it too and the narrator of this book is phenomenal. There is some Mandarin words in here and it's so nice that the narrator is familiar obviously with Mandarin and she pronounces the words perfectly. Basically something that I would not be able to accomplish so which is why it's so nice to just be able to follow along with the audio. Also it's very quick, fast-paced. It's not hard or difficult to understand. I can easily listen to this while I'm cooking dinner, which I have, while I'm wrapping presents, which I did last night, and I'm not missing anything and I'm not lost, which is really, really nice in a fantasy anyway. And if you didn't know what this book is about, this book follows Zilin Fan, I think Fan, I think her name is. And it's a girl who lives with her aunt and uncle and her two cousins in the South. You know, they're very poor. They barely get by. Her aunt and uncle own, I think, a clay shop. They sell like clay figurines and things like that, but they don't make enough money. During this time though, people do practice alchemy. It is allowed. However, the kind that she practices is illegal. She basically resurrects people and she is one of the very few out there in the world that can actually do this and in order for her to be able to feed her aunt and uncle in order to survive the poverty that they're in she does do this on the side basically underground to make more money by resurrecting people. Her and her cousins do this and her aunt and uncle are not aware of this. But it is very interesting. I am obsessed with it. The whole concept of alchemy is just so interesting to me and just I just want to read more about this honestly. It's also very gory at times. There's very descriptive details in here about the bodies and the people that she resurrects. It's just so good. And her dream was to become a royal alchemist. Go study study for the exams and become a royal alchemist so that her and her family's poverty will basically diminish until one day the crowned prince approaches her and asks for her help and that's all I'm gonna say it is so good it's so interesting I just can't wait to read more I think this is gonna be my 11th book of this month and I'm just so happy that I picked this up because I do not regret picking it up it's easy to understand and it's so interesting. Also, the concept of the high class and you have the poor people who live in the South and the high class have this thing where they will be eternally young forever as long as they eat, literally digest gold. And to me, that is so interesting. I just can't wait to read more. I know that I haven't finished this book, but I've heard nothing but great things. I'm having a great experience myself and I would highly recommend you read this and pick it up. So that's it for for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. By the time you guys end up watching this video, Christmas will already have passed. So Merry Christmas to you guys. I hope you had a very good Christmas. Happy holidays. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you on my next one. Bye!